Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Jody Williams, and I thought about doing a new segment, right? Uh, a soapbox se segment, right? And you'll be hearing a lot of words like, whoa, right? So my first ever topic for this Strictly Soapbox, right? Are we as athletes sensitive? You know, and what do I mean by that? Um, and I mean athletes as in arm wrestlers, right? So just to kind of see where I'm going with this, so y'all see where I'm going with this, we'll take the professional athletes, right? So you got athletes, they, they, they got a job. Your job is to go out there and perform whatever sport that is. You got people with a podcast show. What is their job? To critique. You see with your eyes. Hey, this guy's doing great. Props to him. Hey, this guy's not doing so good. Maybe he needs to up his game. And I feel like because, and this is why I'm going to revert back to us arm wrestlers, because with social media, and, I, I, and I've said this over and over again, you know, we live in a society where, you know, it's all about likes and, 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 you know, and clicks and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? Sometimes we do get a little sensitive. But on the upside of that, or I should, excuse me, on the flip side of that, you know, that's when you have these trolls and keyboard warriors and things of that nature. And, you know, when you have somebody who criticizes you, right? And let's be real. For me, nobody criticized me more than myself, right? When, you know, you hear things, I'm just going to say me for now because I know everybody at some point in time had somebody on social media or through the grapevine saying, you know, this, that, and then some. And, you know, it wasn't positive. There are some that are positive, but I'm just want to focus on the negative to see how do you and I react to stuff like that. Now, before when that stuff would come out, because, you know, I, I'm a host of Arm Talk. I'm also a co-host on another podcast show, The can Connection. You know, we make predictions on those shows. And we'll start off with this. It seems like that when you make a prediction that it's personal. It's never personal. You either gotta pick this person or that person who you think's gonna win the match. And I don't know who thought the rule was if you did not select this person that, oh, well, Jody, you're a hater of that person because you didn't pick them to win or you didn't predict them to come out on top, which is the furthest from the truth. I don't know when did that become a deal, but yes, that's happened before. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't see it that way. It's just, hey, you only got the 50 50 shot, right? I'm picking this person for whatever reason. But all of a sudden, you've been later, uh, labeled a hater, you know? You uh, got guys out there. I'm not going to get into names. Not going to get into names, but they constantly jab and jab and jab and jab at you. And, you know, Sometimes, you know, a lot of you guys and girls out there will rise above that. Like, you know what? I ain't got time for that. Don't respond to it, you know? And, you know, when I first got into this podcasting thing and stuff and people say things negative, it's like, all right, I would always fire back, you know? Then I had to take a step back and go, you know what? It, it's not that serious. I don't want to waste my energy going back and forth to some kind of tennis match. I don't, I don't want to do that. Now, I will say this, though. When I do engaging stuff like that is because there has been statements made that haven't been true. That's when I got to say, okay, hold on. If you're going to be dragging my name through the mud, right? Or anybody drags somebody else's name through the mud, then you better have your facts straight. That's all I'm saying, you know, um, cause it happens a lot, you know, and how do we deal with that? You know, um, I I've got, Tons of video on my YouTube with workouts, this, that, and the other. I got a plate little over here that, you know, works your hands and stuff. And then that's not a real grip. You lean back and yada, 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 yada. And, you know, I thought that was funny at first. I'm thinking, okay, so, and I did like 330 pounds or whatever on that. And I, I went to squeeze it. And no, I didn't bend over and squeeze it. I had to straighten my, I had to squat down to get my fingers around it. Then kind of stand straight up and then squeeze it, you know? And then, um... I would have haters on my, uh, you know, on the video posting comments like, 
yeah, you did a deadlift. That wasn't a real squeeze. I'm thinking, okay, well, if you notice, I had to squat down just to get my fingers around the bar. Now, with that being said, because those people, you know, in the same sense, by the same coin, will take people who bench press. When they arch their back like the way they do, with that big ass arch and they do it all like this and all they gotta do is do this, they'll count that though. Is that a real bench? I mean, you had to arch your back so so many degrees, you know, only your only thing is uh, touching the bench is your shoulders, you know? But at the same time, they'll call that a bench in a bench competition, so go figure. But whatever, right? So there's always that, um, you know, I had a, a video where I tossed up a dumbbell, caught it like Johnny Walker, and then someone says, that ain't the way you do it, this, that, and the other. You know, so what I do with that, I just be like, hey, thanks for watching. So instead of, you know, getting upset, I go, you know, hey, thanks, thanks for you taking the time out of your day to watch the video and then having the time to comment on that, positive or negative, you know, Thank you for watching. And I keep it moving. I keep it moving. That's what I do. So, you know, with all these haters out there, you know, um, the workouts you do, to me, and I'm going to say this, you know, I don't care who you are, what you are, all that kind of stuff. Anytime you go out there working out, you know, it should be motivating some of y'all, right? Maybe it doesn't. Some people go out there, I'm doing shoulders, I'm doing bench press, I'm doing squats, I'm doing all kinds of stuff. You know, uh, rising exercises, any kind of exercise should motivate people. You know, and when it's like, oh, you're focused on this, that, and the other, I'm like, whoa, whoa, what, what are we doing here? You know? And I always wondered, why are they so negative about that? Is it because they can't do it? You know? Is it because, you know, or you are a master at that particular lift? You know? I, I never understood that, you know? Um, so instead of like, you know, digging at each other, we should be lifting each other up because those same videos out there also get people to do, try that stuff out and then they do it. But they always add like an extra five or 10 pounds on there. Oh yeah, I can do that. Cause I've done it. I'm guilty of that. I will sit there and watch a video and go, man, you know what? I'm gonna try that. Now, there are some times I've tried those and go, nope, that ain't working for me, you know? But there's other times I do try, I'm thinking, oh, this is pretty cool, you know? I might stick with that, you know? But then there's always that person that will sit there and be like, nah, man, that's not a lot of weight, this, that, and the other. I'm like, everyone's different. Everyone's on a different level, okay? So, and I, I'm gonna segue into this one. When it comes to like lifts, you know, I'm gonna stick with the theme, you know, put it on social media and stuff, YouTube, will, Instagram or whatever, Facebook or whatnot. When it comes to lifts, everybody's different, meaning that not everybody's six foot five, right? Not everybody's 215 pounds. You're going to have people taller than six foot five, shorter than six foot five. You're going to have people who are heavier than 215, lighter than 215. Some people are going to be stronger than others, you know? Um, for the ladies, not everyone's built the same. Some women are, you know, lean and mean. Some are, are, you know, curvy. We're all not built the same and it shouldn't matter, right? Because those people had a wherewithal to go, you know what? They like what they're doing. They're inspired. You know, when you got people who are like, hey man, that's a good lift, man, keep up the good work. Believe it or not, that inspires them to go ahead and go, hey, I, mean, I kind of like this stuff, you know? I was doing, you know, once, you know, earlier in the year, calendar year, I was doing my 30-day uh, uh, curl challenge, you know? I was doing my 30-day pull-up challenge. I did all that kind of stuff. But see, that was more of trying to prove to myself, can I actually do it, right? And I just thought, you know, hey, I'll, I'll just share it. You know, some people saw the journey. It was cool, you know? And I, you know, there's me and... Greg Sharper kind of going back and forth in that. We're kind of motivating each other, you know? And that was cool. You can check it up on my YouTube if you if you feel like it. But yeah, I, I did a 30-day challenge. And that was for me, my personal thing, and, you know, kind of motivating Greg. And Greg would do stuff and motivate me back and stuff. And I thought it was cool, you know? Like I said, it was just we try to stay positive. 
I think there's just so much negativity. And I guess when we circle back to what this topic is all about, how do we handle that kind of stuff? How do you handle the negativity? We all can handle the positive. That, that, that's easy. But how do we handle the negative? You know, when that negative comment comes up, whoa, 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 what are we doing? Why are we so angry at people? Why are people so angry? Because honestly, the way I look at it, it goes back to that old, the old thing you were taught by your folks or you taught in school. If you ain't got nothing, nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. You ain't got to comment on that. If you don't like it or you think it's wrong, it's, it's a difference between someone, hey man, that's probably not the, right, uh, not the right way. Hey, maybe try it like this. That's one thing. But when you have someone saying, oh man, you ain't nothing, that ain't nothing, wait, yada, yada, yada. If you don't like it, just keep rolling. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling, you know? So, you know, the whole purpose of this particular soapbox is the fact that, you know, there's so much negativity out there. And at some point, when does it stop, right? Because I'll say this, being in a sport 14 years, you know, one has to wonder, hey, when you really look at it, back then, there wasn't that much negativity. But at the same time, wasn't that much social media either, as far as arm wrestling goes. Nobody was putting matches on, Instagram wasn't out 14 years ago. Nobody was putting matches on Facebook and YouTube hardly. But now that we have, all have access and we all got podcast shows and we all have the access of putting stuff on uh, Twitter and all that kind of stuff, Instagrams, all the stuff, you know, we want to get it out there because the reason why we all do that is because, hey, you know, some people can benefit from that. I'm putting myself out there. Somebody wants to market their brand. We all do that. I do that. I know some of y'all do that. We market your brand. Because some way, somehow, somebody's going to catch and be like, oh, that's cool. Hey, man, you know, I like what you I like what you got going on there. Who knows? That could be a possible sponsor, you know, coming up. Never know. But then there's always that person trying to bring us down. Couldn't tell you why, but they do that. And I hope at some point they realize, instead of bringing us down, won't you go ahead and try your own deal and lift yourself up? And who knows? Maybe they like what you put out. Just something to think about. But you, again, everybody, thank you for taking time out. This is a Soapbox Edition coming at you. So we'll talk to you all soon.